Hello everyone and welcome to Left Field with me, Get Dave. It's Fly Casual, which is... Uh, I'll put the link to the Git repo in the description. You can download it and play it. It's a simulator for Fantasy Flight Games uh, X-Wing Miniatures board game. I call it a board... Uh, pardon me, a tabletop game. We're gonna, we're gonna take it for a spin, and we'll talk about it. We'll go against the AI. Um, if you're not familiar with the, with the game, I don't know, it's neat. I think it has some novel ideas. You know, whenever you say something like that, a lot of people are like, uh, actually in the 60s, this board game did it for, whatever. It's new, this is gonna be new for a lot of people. Um, we're gonna have starfighters, and we're gonna try to shoot down the other starfighters. And the premise of the game basically comes down to each ship has its own maneuver dial, and you pick your maneuver from this dial, and it's hidden. And then everybody has to plan them out and go based on what they think the other person is gonna do. And it's a little bit of a dog fight, and we'll elaborate more on it. And we'll do this as a one-off, because why not? I am me, so I like flying with me X-Wings and... Or the Rebels, anyway. You get 200 points, so we'll do... We'll do the Alphabet Squad, I guess. That'll be a good, a good mix. So we'll pick our T-65 X-Wing. So we have 200 points to put on our team. Each pilot has a cost. So if you want Wedge, that's 52. He's got initiative of 6, which basically means he moves last helps and shoots first which also helps Luke's not quite as good but he has the force which you know we probably don't have to talk about by the way we're playing the 2.0 version of the game it came out maybe five or six years ago um, but they redid it last year and just the rules are a little bit different uh, I think it's quite a bit better but uh, with our boy Weg I think he's I think he's got what we want we're going to try to take all the, the main ships. Uh, I kind of prefer 10 and 9. I'm probably going to mess it up, but... That's not the attitude. I like Jake a lot. We'll get into the specifics of why I chose... Well, I mean, just for the theme's sake, I'm going to take a Y-Wing. Uh, I don't take them very much. If you've watched any... Star Wars related game on my channel, you know what I think about Y-Wings. So I don't have them very often. Okay. Dutch seems like he's pretty good. You know what? Because of that, we're going to equip some upgrades. Not because of that. Um, X-Wings get this one for free. You can open or close your S-Foils. You're a little bit more maneuverable with them shut. Don't ask me why. Uh, you can have an astromech, a torpedo, a title card. These are typically few and far between, and honestly, I don't think a lot of them are very good. And a modification. Um, these are just different groups of upgrades. We're going to go with the ever-expensive Proton Torpedo. Now, your ships have different ranges. Torpedoes give you basically a good attack at really long range. So, we've got two pew pews with it. Put that on wedge. It's a Y-Wing. It can have lots of upgrades. You can have bombs and all sorts of stuff like that. I'm not going to bother with a bomb, I don't think. I feel morally obligated to give it a turret, though. Yeah, okay, I don't mind iron cannon turrets. get the true effectiveness out of a Y-Wing, you need to do something like that. Let me think about Jake for a minute. A-Wings are special. They can have two talents. That's fairly rare. Um, A-Wings do not have a ton of killing power. But let's see if we can help it up. Help it out just a little bit. Sure, we'll take Daredevil. This is interesting. Yeah, okay. 
we can do that. And let's see what else we've got for situations we gotta worry about. Uh, scanners are pretty rare, but you can do some cool stuff. You can get some attack rerolls. We're gonna attack with dice and defend with dice. Um, yeah, we'll talk about actions and everything real quick. Sorry to start off with this setup. I just have eight points, and I'm a little undecided on what I'm gonna do. You know what? Let's let's give this A wing some knockout power. Give it a proton rocket, and uh, take that off. I keep not wanting to do that. Put trick shot on him. Crack shot, and you probably can take a talent. You can have crack shot too. Okay, we're at 200 points, and I'll just randomize my opponent. Also, if you're thinking, boy, this music is amazing, you're going to be blown away by the sound effects. All right. So they're opening up with the question, who should... That's weird. They gave me a pretty similar opponent. Uh, who should have initiative? Basically, in the event of a tie, who shoots first? And I prefer to uh, move second, shoot second, because I like to arc dodge a little bit more. It means you try getting out of someone else's firing arc. So I want them to have initiative. You can place some obstacles, which you don't want to crash into. I don't really care. We're just going to scatter them all about. And now we place our ships. So this little six here and the fours. That's the pilot's initiative. It used to be pilot skill, now it's initiative. That determines the order we're gonna go in. So movement and placement at the beginning goes in reverse uh, numerical order. And by the way, oh yeah, we'll just have our turret. Yeah, we'll go out the front to start. We'll talk about ionizing enemies so you don't want to crash into these is the short version, by the way. Uh, Jake's special thing is he can use two actions under some circumstances. We'll get more into that in a little bit. We don't want him to go in a little bit ahead of the group and take some heat from them. B-Wings, I think, they used to suck, but I think they're really interesting ships. Oh, nice. It's a very AI deployment. Let's do something like this. And we'll just have the S-Foils open for now. You lose firepower if you close them. All right, he's deciding what his moves are gonna be. It's very honest of the computer to do that first. All right, now we get to set our dials. So Dutch here has a pilot skill that lets him, when he makes a target lock, a friend can get a target lock too. We're gonna try using that to set up Wedge with a really killer opening torpedo shot. And that's basically as far as I've sought out my strategy and as far as I am going to think it out. b are interesting, they just kind of corkscrew around. And that's fine. So we've set our maneuvers then. All right, they're opening their S-foils, no big deal. Now I can pick which of my pilot skill four ships are gonna go in. Those are the generic X-wings, by the way. And yes, this is a little rough around the edges, don't worry about it. Okay, if you don't know what to do, focus. That's your rule of thumb. It's kind of helpful when you attack, it's kind of helpful when you defend, and everyone can do it, except for, like, there's a couple robotic ships, like uh, Vulture Droids. They coordinate, which is basically focus, but slightly worse. Um, we'll try getting a target lock. So you have to be within range three. They're probably out of range. Yeah. So we can't target lock anyone, that's fine. Oh yeah. 
It executes our maneuver. Um, a target lock, by the way, lets you shoot some some missiles and torpedoes and those sorts of things require a target lock, and it also lets you reroll dice when you're attacking. And yeah, we'll talk about some of the other twists a little bit. Barrel roll lets me move sideways. I could focus and I could then barrel roll out of it if I wanted to. I'm not gonna do that. Can you get a target lock? That's fine. If they're outside range three, it means we can't be shot, so. We'll just take a focus for now. And by the way, let's take a quick preview of Jake's card. If it will let me. There we go. After you perform a boost or a barrel, you may choose one friendly ship at range zero to one. Zero means touching, one means kind of close. That ship may perform a focus action. So I am at, Jake's at range zero with himself. So what we can do here is boost forward. And he's gonna focus himself. He's probably gonna get shot, that's okay. That's setting up something I want to have happen. Uh, we'll just, let's keep it real for now. This is probably the only shot that can happen. Oh, uh, yeah, the game makes me go through the formalities of, okay, Wedge is technically supposed to shoot first on my side. No one's gonna be in range. If you're wondering how far is range three, it's. <laughs> it's slightly further. That's range three. Out oh, there. The entire mat is range nine by nine, and it's basically a one meter mat. So you can think of range three as being a foot. That's a good rule of thumb. And range is not measured with the maneuver templates. Just so you know. These are like the different moves we can make when I'm picking three. It's one of these templates. They have a different measurement. All right, so that was my attack. So in real life, I would have rolled two dice. I rolled blanks on both. There's one critical hit, three hits, and two foci. If you roll focus, you can spend your focus token and flip them to hits. So it really pads out your stats. It bumps you up from a 50% to a 75%. And defense dice, oh my goodness, did not hit him. And you're not going to shoot, and you're not going to shoot. All right. It's a defender's game. We're at range three. When you're at range three, the defender gets additional defense dice. So we'll just go through these numbers real quick. That's how many pew pews you have by default. That's your red number. That's your attack. So by default, an X-Wing will have three attack dice. At range one, you're more deadly. So that bumps you up to four. It's plus one. X-Wing's pretty maneuverable. Two defense dice, Y-Wing's one, A-Wing three. Uh, oh, sorry, and B-Wing is one. When you're at range three, you get one extra. And then this is our hull. When that goes away, your ship blows up, and this is your shields. Shields are like hull, they're a little bit better. They're immune to critical hits. All right, now we're in trouble. He rolled two, or the second X-Wing attacked my A-Wing, rolled three hits, I rolled two evades, and by the way, the defense dice, um, there's no critical evade, so there's three evades, two focus, and three blanks, so they're not quite as good. All things being even, you will eventually lose if you're rolling defense against attack. I'm going to spend my focus, boom, we dodge it all. Pretty lucky, I kind of expected to take at least one damage on the A-Wing, even though the odds were in its favor. And now let's get to the shooting part. Not exactly sure what I'm doing over here, by the way. Let's worry about this part first. So... What's Luke and Wedge? Wedge's pilot skill is he reduces the defender's agility level, so he can deal crazy knockout punches. Uh, 
All right, Jake's super maneuverable. The B-Wing is super not, but it's kind of corkscrewy. Um, it can really move, like it can move sideways as fast as it can move forwards, which is, I don't know, I think interesting. These blue maneuvers clear something called stress. Red maneuvers give you stress. If you are stressed, that stress token stays with you from turn to turn until you clear it. So if you do a red, you gotta go blue. When you're stressed, you can't do red maneuvers and you cannot take an action. So how I was focusing and target locking and all that stuff, can't do that. Oh. Let's just slow play it and see what happens. Let them catch up a little bit. Oh my goodness. Okay, he's going to bump, unfortunately. Bump. Yeah, aimings, they're really fast. They can't go slow, though. You cannot shoot someone at range zero, by the way. There's an aiming pilot, Arvel Krennid. He's the guy who crashes into the Super Star Destroyer in uh, Turn of the Jedi. All right, we'll target lock this guy. So that's the range finder, by the way. And target lock. Choose a ship, that ship will acquire a target lock. Wedge gets the target lock. Oh, the Y-Wing's so dead. Absolutely not. Focus. All right. So let's talk about critical hits. When you, your ship takes damage, at first it just fizzes away your shields. So Dutch is going to lose his two shields. Normal hits are resolved first, so he's going to be taking two critical hits to the hull. He has zero evade because Wedge was the one shooting him. He just got absolutely ripped. Uh, so yeah, no defense dice. So the critical hit is on your hull, you start taking these damage cards. And normally they're face down. If it's a crit, they're face up and you get to see what happens. So if he shoots, he has to roll an attack die on himself. Okay, and that second one's not too bad. Well, who would have thought Dutch would be in big trouble? Rangefinder is under there. I like playing at 720p. I like windowed applications. Just, just let it go. Okay. I'm going to spend my target lock in this case. We're at range one. I can't shoot my torpedoes. They're range two to three. So we will re-roll that one. Boop. We get a crit. I'll spend my focus. Right back at you, Wedge. After you perform an attack, roll an attack die, gain a stress. Okay. All right. Dutch, you're in trouble. Damaged engine. That doesn't make that big of a difference on a Y-Wing. Yeah, he's so dead. Oh, and he explodes. Because <laughs> that console fire right before you engage. That's unfortunate. However, he does get his dying, his dying shot. Range one to two. Let's see if we can ionize Wedge. All right, ion tokens. So an ion turret, again, like you've already learned the basic mechanics, okay? We'll move on from there. The ion turret does one damage tops, and then after that starts adding ion tokens, which just lock their steering. All right, so next turn, Wedge is gonna go straight by one, which means we know where he's gonna be, basically where uh, Dutch is right now. We can take advantage of this.
We have a bit of an interesting dilemma. This A-Wing can probably shoot that guy. I think it's probably an arc. You can see this red zone. That's our attacking arc. But we get more dice on this one. I should have gone with the focus token. It always seems that when you target lock, you get the focus results, and when you focus, you get the, the blanks. We'll re-roll those. Hey, not bad. Two crits and a hit. You're going to spend your focus. Alright, so we de-shielded that X-Wing. And there's one tiny thing I want to show you. You see the straight line coming out the front? That's the bullseye arc. Alright. Some weapons can only be shot out the bullseye arc. Like those amazing proton rockets that uh, Jake is carrying. Oh. So yeah, this... X-Wing, I guess, is just out of arc. I find it a little hard to believe, but I'll allow it. It's a very good offensive rolls. Whew. Dave's getting roasted. Alright, one interesting thing about 10 Nun is you kind of want him to be stressed. Deal with why I did that maneuver in just a moment. It seems pretty unlikely that I'm going to be able to clear both of these X wings with any maneuver. So we could do ourselves a sloop, get pointed back this way, and with wedge. Also, it's really important, I'm not really bothering with this because I'm let's playing, but uh, you're not going to see a great showcase of the game today. Um, normally all this time I'm spending talking and thinking about what I'm going to say, I would spend thinking about what I'm going to do and what the uh, opponent's going to do. So we know Wedge is going to be here. Luke is at some risk of colliding. He probably can't do any of his turns in this direction. And if he goes straight, he might even clip the asteroid. The AI is kind of bad for clipping asteroids. Um, and I wonder if it can sh it'll show us the maneuver dials or not. It's the same as this one. I should, can just go off of that. I think we just kick the K-turn. He's gonna incur stress, so no, no fancy business. All right. Oh, getting rid of the fuel leak would be nice. I'm probably gonna be, I'm gonna do this to incur stress. And I'm going to do a left barrel roll backwards. I'm probably going to dodge the asteroid and bump the bump the X-Wing. If I don't, well, it'll be bad. Oh. Yeah, but I, I want to do that. That should have failed the barrel roll. There we go. Skip. But I incurred the stress. Normal tokens like focuses, you don't get to keep them from round to round. Stress and target lock stay with you though. The reason I did that is I don't actually want to move and I want to be stressed so I can use his fancy pilot ability. No, I don't want to close the S foils. All right, we have an awkward situation here. I pretty much I can't kill Luke. Wedge is just going to be taking a brutal hit, I think. He has no tokens. But we really got to take our chance at taking out Wedge here. So 
So two hits on an enemy damage. Not too shabby. Wah wah. Uh, yeah, I'll focus that. <laughs> Didn't matter. If I had a target lock, I could have torpedoed him. Yay, and anyone got a damage through. And, all right. If you're in Bullseye, I can cancel one of his things. So we did two damage instead of one. Crack shot you just always use if you can. Oh, there goes shields. Yeah, I'm playing horribly just so you know, but maybe we can pull it off. This guy's stressed, so he's gonna go here. This guy's probably gonna do a curl. This is gonna totally line wedge up with a boulder. We're just gonna have to spin out of that. The cool thing is that a five straight is blue for an aiming. And just open up the throttle and let fly. Now let's see what happens. Oh, did I go too far? Bump. Shoot, I didn't think he'd go so fast. Uh, yes, I will close the S-foils. Because I need to barrel roll. I'm gonna barrel roll to his right. Well, now let's live a little. We'll barrel roll to the left and forwards. Luke might bonk him. Oh, Luke moved and I lost track of it. Oh, whatever. This is easier when you're not talking. <laughs> hey, we got a damage. And can't shoot him because we're touching. Oh. Oh, my A-Wing. Luke is really hard to get the knockout punch on because uh, he's got a pilot ability that makes him... Like, just think about what happened in A New Hope. That's what makes it harder to kill him. You just, you're getting ready to deal the knockout punch and then Obi-Wan Kenobi speaks to him. He gets some force powers and yeah, so he's got these force tokens. You can spend one uh, each roll, and it acts like a baby focus. It just changes one focus result to a hit. Uh, Jake. Let's... Let's do this and see if we can get Luke in the bullseye. It's probably going to be too much, but with a barrel roll we might be able to correct that. want to move and we're going to got to do the barrel roll into a focus I think what's wedges maneuver again K turn uh, let's see if we can set up wedge instead So we gave Wedge a focus. Yeah, I don't I don't want to. Yeah, open the S foils. You have to do it before you move, which makes it harder. And I didn't give Wedge trick shot, which is kind of funny. Spend the focus. Luke gets. Yeah. It's a little force powers. Come on, roll. <laughs> Not rolled a ton of evades.
Yeah, uses a force power. That's fine. <laughs> uh, what's it gonna take? Alright, tactical mode. We'll switch perspectives here. This is what it's... Generally speaking, when you play the game, you're in this position a lot. This is your perspective. And then when... When it gets serious. Sorry. Little quirk. It just for some reason it gets confused when you have a submenu open. Again, it's a GitHub project. There's an update. Keeps getting better. Uh, the good news is you don't get these bugs when you do them in real life. When you play the game in real life. My piloting's just as bad though. How do you not play the game? Because I'm good at it. There's, like, tournaments and stuff. I'm not one of those guys, though. Like, if you're wondering, is Dave a board game guy? Yeah, take that, Luke. Flying right through that asteroid. I forget what move I picked. Oh, baby. I have you now. <laughs> See you in hell, Luke. Use force. No? Damaged engine stun, pilot, and also deceased. Alright, if Wedge can survive this turn, which he can't, we'll be in business. Anyway, I actually hate... Well, no, I don't hate board games. I'm just not crazy about them. But uh, a bunch of my friends play them. And so... What would basically happen? Oh, I'll see you later, Wedge. All right, one A-wing versus one shieldless A-wing versus two shieldless X-wings. Statistically, and I'm stressed. Do I only need a focus for these? Yeah. Statistically, my odds aren't great. However, Jake is very pesky to finish off. All right, I shoot before these guys. He's gonna have to go through the asteroid. This guy's almost certainly gonna take a two turn, which should put him right about here. And I have an okay chance to nuke him. I'm gonna try it. He does not take damage going through there. I think I have a bullseye arc. Um, the better defensive move, I would need to roll five hits on this guy. And he's tokened. All right, I'll probably die doing this, but I gotta try. The better defensive move would be to barrel roll and pull back into it. Because again, Jake can boost her barrel roll into a focus. Or I could just take an evade. Uh, an evade action just takes one of your dice, and when you're defending, if you roll a blank, you can change it to an evade. Or if you roll anything, you can change it to an evade. So it only works on one die, but it's a guaranteed damage you're not taking, and you can spend it any time you want during this turn. It gets swept away at the end of the round, of course. Yeah, aimings can focus into a boost. I don't want to boost. All right, you. Are you gonna ask me? Yeah, proton rockets. <sighs> Direct hit. All right. Well, that's kind of nice. Do you have a focus token? Hey! We got out of it all right. Okay, this guy is about to die.
<laughs> Did I sigh hard enough? Moving over here, not really an option. If I were that guy, I would go for the, the K turn. That's when you move in a straight direction and then perform a 180 at the end. Alright everyone, comment section. Post what you would do in this situation. We're not we're not totally done. You know what? Let's go for a bit of a jog. myself okay one other thing you cannot take the same action more than once in a turn so the a-wing has this passive ability that when you focus you can focus into a boost if you want to take a stress um, but I'd already boosted so oh I have no shots planning sure going around this asteroid. With boosting, I can do 135 degrees in one turn. I nearly hit it. <laughs> Let's put even more distance. Gonna wait one more turn before we start going. Oh my goodness! What a deadly attack! Rolls like that on an A wing at range. If you fly off the mat, you die, by the way. Oh yeah, I was stressed so I can perform a free action in that case. I don't have a shot. On an A-Wing, all twos are blue. Which is very special. All right, this was actually a very special and planned move. Choose me to focus. That will vector thrusters. We'll skip that now. All that? I thought I would have a slight obstruction which would give me another die. Oh well. <laughs> Well, why don't you... <laughs> Alright, that's how the Jake story ends. Dave was defeated. 
Anyway, I can't believe I lost it anyway. Um, generally speaking, by the way, four X wings is considered a not bad list. Or uh, three X's and a U is really popular right now. Anyway, by the way, I was saying before and then got distracted when I started desperately or horribly losing the game. P.S. If you want a good strategy, just um, make sure you have a really good first turn when the shooting happens. So plan accordingly. I have friends who like go to tournaments for board games and stuff like that. Um, one of them, I don't live in the same city any, the same anymore, but he was like apparently some world-class netrunner player. I've heard of it. <laughs> anyway, uh, board games, I play them sometimes. And uh, this one I kind of enjoy, one of the few I like. So, hope you're interested. And uh, yeah, you can check out check out the link if you want this, or you can go to your local board game cafe and learn about X-Way. You buy like the ships, you buy packages with the ships so you can get the ships you like. It's fun toys for adults. And I'm terrible, and I should feel bad. <laughs>